Hi, this is Nick Samari, sales manager with Riverstone Fifth Wheels. I'm going to take you through our 2023 Legacy 42FS KG today. All right, so starting at the front door side of the unit, we're going to start with our Furion 4 camera system. So this is going to be your side view camera. That is optional equipment. All your Riverstones will be prepped for that. Most of the units you see in the field will have that on. Be sure to check the dealer to make sure that's the piece of equipment you have if that's what you want. <clears throat> Every Riverstone is gonna have two 40 pound LP tanks. Um, you'll notice our tanks are side by side. Most products you see in a fifth wheel, the tanks are gonna be on a slide out tray, um, but there's only width for one tank. The reason that is, we build on an all steel upper deck. So your frame steel is gonna come back to the interior steps of your unit. So a traditional fifth wheel build, they're only gonna use about 20 inches of steel, and then it's gonna be an aluminum mid deck. So any of our pass through storages, you're gonna see we have actual steel going across in the pass-through storage instead of aluminum. So it's all tied together. It's gonna to disperse your road stress over a bigger area of the frame. Um, it's gonna stand up to test the time better. You're gonna have less flux in your frame. Peering in our pass-through storage, you're gonna notice we do a water manifold. So all Riverstones have a water manifold with individual shutoffs for the items in your unit. So the water lines run from that manifold to the item. So <clears throat> you hate to even say it, but if you end up having an issue with a water heater, with a washer dryer, a dishwasher, a faucet, you can turn that item off and continue to use the rest of your coach until you have the time to get it repaired or can get it somewhere to get it repaired. We also have some nice sliding access panels to get to any of your wiring. You'll notice the Moride steps. So those are a nice step. It's sturdy when you step on it. It's also gonna have two gas shocks inside of the door, so they're gonna make it lighter weight when you go to flip the steps up into your door. We do a midship turn signal on all of our units. So when you're 40 to 45 feet long, it's nice to let people know when you're going to make a move on the highway. Every semi on the road, you're gonna see a turn signal next to it. What do you do? If you're in the way, you speed up, you slow down, you get out of the way. So let people know what your next move is. Um, our units are going to be on H-rated tires. I mentioned this is a legacy package. So these tires are upgraded from the standard Cooper 17 and a half inch H-rated tire to a Goodyear 17 and a half inch H-rated tire. Um, so those tires are H-load range. Both of them are speed rated for 75 miles an hour. This unit is also gonna have our disc brakes on it. So standard brakes on a Riverstone are gonna be a drum brake. Because of the legacy package, these are automatically upgraded to disc brakes. This is built on our standard Dexter axle. Um, triple axles are gonna be triple 7K Dexter axles. They are a spring axle with the LCI Road Armor equalizers. So that equalizer is gonna have some bushings in there that help dampen the transfer of energy from one axle to another to smooth out the ride. They also have wet bolts. So all your bolts in there are gonna be greasable. So any moving piece of that suspension is gonna have some grease in it, which is just gonna help it over time to last longer, help uh, limit the wear and tear on it. So we do have an optimal Moride independent suspension. There's a lot of videos out on the, uh, out on the internet to look into to see the difference in that. It is an upgrade. This unit is not equipped with it. Um, this particular unit gives you a second pass-through storage. Then this will have the optional 50-inch outside TV. So that 50-inch outside TV is a Jensen TV. If you don't get that TV, it will be prepped for it. There'll be a backer in the wall, all the plugs will be there. Uh, people that don't get the TV, normally they make some type of tool storage there with a little pegboard or something. There's a little bonus compartment here. Uh, the reason you have these compartments and they're so shallow is because you have a garage on this unit. So this unit has a garage that is really for a golf cart or a single uh, touring bike. So this bed is in the down position. We're standing under the uh, 66 by 80 inch king bed or RV king bed that's in the bedroom right now. So it's full king length. It is in between the width of a queen and a king. So you have a little extra room. Um, king gets a little tight in the bedroom. So you're gonna notice we have four tie downs. Uh, this floor is rated to 2,000 pounds. The ramp door is actually rated to 2,500. With this bed in the down position, you're gonna have about 58 inches of clearance underneath the bed. Um, the width at the door is 66 inches. You'll see up top, it's gonna to be a little narrower. The length is 110 inches. From that front wall to this door when it's closed is 110 on the dot. 
Um, when this bed goes to the up position, you're gonna have almost 84 inches of clearance. So your lifted golf cart's gonna fit in there no problem. Um, probably a little narrow to get it out of like a side-by-side, -side, but uh, a lot of people use them for Can-Am Spiders, Harleys, uh, any of your touring bikes. All Riverstones are gonna come with a ladder. On this side, you're gonna have another pass-through storage. This is a longer one. So it goes all the way through both these doors. Great place for camp chairs, if you wanna hang some fishing poles in there. Just really depends on what you're doing with the unit. You know, we get some people to get eight foot kayaks, put them in their back, and then they're along with their bikes rather than a motorcycle or a golf cart. And then this is where they put some of their fishing gear and that type of stuff. You do have a 12 volt power cord reel for your 50 amp cord. In this little compartment, you're going to have a Wastemaster sewer hose. So this sewer hose has a valve on the end, um, makes things a little cleaner. We're going to empty. It's also smooth walled inside, so you don't have to worry about anything building up in there. Uh, and then if I can find the other end of it. So this is actually a cam lock connection. So it's a lot tighter and a stronger connection than a standard just twist on sewer hose. So that is part of the legacy package. If you don't get the legacy package, it's just gonna be a standard sewer hose. This is the other side of that pass through storage. Here would be your water center. So inside of your water center, you've got a uh, nice little filter. You've got all of our water filters, our, or not, sorry, all of our water panels are a nice B&B &B water panel. That B&B &B water panel is gonna have a sticker on it. It tells you exactly what you need to do for winterizing. Um, if you're going to fill your fresh water tank, you're going to just hook up to city water. You just follow the little sticker, you put the color-coded knobs, you put in the right position and you're good to go. Truma hot water heater. So the Truma hot water heater is a variable 20,000 to 60,000 BTU water heater. So during the warmer months, it's gonna be a lot more efficient. During the colder months, it has the power to actually heat the water up to the correct temperature. So a lot of the competitive on-demand water heaters in the market are gonna be 40 to 42,000 BTUs. They will only guarantee they'll heat water 30 degrees above what it comes in at. This is always gonna heat your water at 108 degrees. So if you're pulling in 50 degree water, would you want to take an 80 degree shower or 108? So that is why we use the Truma. It is the nicest hot water heater on demand in the industry. Um, it does have a small 1.3 liter tank, so you do have to winterize it, um, but you just pull this lever and the water is gonna drain out. That's also where you would insert a decalcification tablet. So this water heater will actually clean itself out. So once or twice a year, it's good that hard water from the park is going to start building up and you are going to throw a decalcification tablet and it's going to clear all the contents of that out and pass them right through your gray tank. Um, we do 40,000 BTU suburban furnaces on all of our units. You know, a few of the things on the outside, when you're looking at one of our units, I always say, you know, touch, feel, give it some knocks. We are gonna build a three inch wall. Our skirt metal is gonna be an 040 metal. Most guys are gonna use an 030 or an 024. Our metal wraps all the way to the I-beam. It's just, you've, it's sturdier. It doesn't have the flap in the wind. Even our fender skirts were a molded fender skirt instead of just a flat plastic one. Ours has a little more strength to it, a little more rigidity to it. Um, the final thing we'll take a look at on the outside is gonna be your battery trays. So <clears throat> you do have two battery trays. They extend out, lock out. So when you're going to replace batteries, you're not trying to get it on there and having the battery tray sliding in on you. So it's easier to add batteries, take batteries out. You also have room for four batteries. This unit comes standard with a 30 amp solar controller. That solar controller is hooked to a 200 watt solar panel. 200 watt solar panel is about nine and a half amps. So you can actually do three of those solar panels. We have an option to add the extra two from the factory or they can be added at any time down the road by your dealer. Um, it's a pretty simple add-on. Uh, guys that are upgrading to lithium batteries and that type of stuff, generally they're gonna throw the extra couple panels on there, uh, but it's not a necessity. So we do a 1500 watt inverter to go with that system. That 1500 watt go power inverter is gonna power the outlet at your desk, your bedroom TV, your living room TV, uh, the recliners in the living room, and your fridge. That fridge from Samsung is made to run on your inverter. Samsung says up to 18 hours it'll stay cold. Once it's cold, I always say 12. I like to not to overpromise on them. Um, but running down the road, your solar will charge your battery. If your unit is hooked to your truck, 
your truck's going to trickle charge your battery, and that'll be more than enough for your fridge to keep up. Uh, and if you are doing a little more off grid or some longer travels, guys generally will upgrade to two batteries or throw a lithium battery in there. So, um, as you would expect in this category, sometimes I skip over it, but we do have automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. So, as we're going inside, this unit has the optional air ride hitch. This hitch is available on any of our units with a 21,000 pound GVWR or less. Um, this unit's 21,000. The standard hitch is gonna be a Rotoflex. Behind this door, we do have a full gen prep. So uh, your propane lines are gonna be in there, all your electrical's done. The generator harness is gonna be in there. It's actually gonna be tied into our Firefly control system. So you do have auto gen start stop on this unit. Um, as we're going in the door, you may notice you've got a couple of awnings on here. So standard, we're gonna do two awnings. A lot of times the second awning is going to be on the face of a slide. This particular unit, they're stacked next to each other, so you've got 30 foot of awning on your door side of this unit, as well as uh, awning toppers. Awning toppers are optional, but your awning toppers and your awnings both are going to be weather shield. So they're going to have that protective metal over the awning when they're rolled away. So let's check out the inside. So we are in the kitchen. Starting in the kitchen, you're going to have the optional 30 inch convection microwave from Samsung. Standard's gonna be just a 30 inch stainless steel microwave, Samsung microwave still. In all of our kitchens, we try to give you a nice spot for garbage. So you've got a pull out garbage here. You'll see you have a ton of drawers. You got six drawers here. You have these cabinets, which also have pull out drawers inside of them. So both sides of the fridge, you're gonna have pull out drawers, overhead cabinets for dishes, Samsung, 18 cubic foot fridge, does have an ice maker in the drawer, and you'll see we have a nice uh, travel lock on it as well. So all your river stones are going to come with a Fisher Packle dishwasher. That is a residential dishwasher with heated dry. It is a drawer dishwasher. Um, it also, it only uses 2.8 gallons per cycle, so a lot of people think it's a big waste of water, but it's hard to wash that many dishes with that little water. We do cutting board sink inserts, so they are usable. Now we do a nice deep dual bowl sink. Um, a lot of guys use, you know, like a six or an eight inch. We use a 10 inch deep sink. You'll notice we use the nice four burner insignia range. It has a 12,000 BTU burner here. It also has a 3.7 cubic foot oven. Next to your oven, We've given you a storage for, uh, you know, baking trays, cutting boards, that type of stuff, as well as some pull-out drawers for cooking utensils. The other side's gonna have a top and bottom drawer. We've done our custom hood here, so we've given you that full island range hood look with actually a max air fan above the stove. So you can get all that grease and all those fun cooking smells sucked right out of your unit. <clears throat> Do it a breakfast bar for two people. We are mainly couple coaches at Riverstone. Between your living room and kitchen, you've got your Firefly control panel. So it's a touchscreen control panel. All your lights are gonna be on there. You've got your HVAC on there. You have all your slides on there. Um, it's an easy system to use. It connects to your phone. Your phone's gonna be the same exact screen as what's in there. Um, a nice thing about that system is all your switches are actually wireless switches. They just use a garage battery or a garage remote battery on the back there. But all those switches are going to uh, key on and off the circuits on the board that's in your pass-through storage, just like the screen does, just like your phone does. You're going to have power theater seats. You've got some charging ports on the front of the cup holders, and then power in and out. We are using the Easy Out bed. So our sofa sleepers are, I would argue, the easiest sofa sleeper to use in the industry. So you just lift it up, come straight out, and they are, you'll see it's a lot more level than uh, trifolds that you would see, where you, a lot of times you have three different heights of cushions on there, and it's as easy as that to put away. Above your sleeper, we've got some added storage cabinets up here. You've got a 65 inch Samsung UHD Smart TV, JBL soundbar. There is a wireless JBL subwoofer under the desk that connects to that soundbar. You have a 47 inch fireplace that will put out heat, so it is like a space heater. Behind this glass, you've got some hookups for, oh, HDMI if you want to hook up like a 
Apple TV or a Roku if you want to hook up your laptops to throw something on there along with some outlets under there. That TV is on a swing arm. Go over your desk slide. You've got these nice storage cabinets above it. Then you have a legitimate desk. So this is a, I believe, 71 inch wide desktop. So you've got nice drawers. You've got a bank of three drawers on each side of your desk and a nice surface to actually work on. The bathroom in all of our Riverstones, you know, you're gonna keep the same solid surface ca uh, countertops that you've got in the kitchen. It is a different color. Um, you have actual tile backsplashes instead of a fake plasticky backsplash. You got nice storage compartment over your toilet as well as good storage down below. The sink as well as the three drawer brink next to the sink. We got nice kind of modern looking faucets. Um, kind of try to keep that residential look in your shower. So that's, we've got a nice fiberglass shower base. So you don't have to worry about any type of sagging in your base. It's a solid fiberglass base. And then our wall systems have, uh, there are three pieces, but in the corners, we've got these nice trim pieces. The walls actually interlock into those trim pieces. So you don't have to worry about any type of water coming behind that. We also silicone inside of those trim pieces where the walls interlock. It's a nice, it's about a quarter inch material. So it's a nice solid wall. In your bathrooms, you will also have a max air fan on the roof. So in the bedroom of this unit, it is a toy hauler, but you're not seeing the garage. So that is the beauty of this 42 FSKG. It's got that garage underneath, but you're never in the garage in the unit. So you've got the bedroom of a high-end fifth wheel. You've got nice uh, wardrobe closet here. So we have three bars running outside, running in to out inside of the slide out. That actually is gonna give you more hanging space than if we ran them lengthwise. That's why I get that question a lot. That's why we do that. You've got a Dyson vacuum in here. That is part of the legacy package. If you did not have a legacy package, you would have a center vac under the front steps in this unit. Now, all your river stones are gonna come with a Splendid washer dryer, and they are gonna be located behind this door in your bedroom. And then you've got a nice tall dresser with a 40 inch TV in here. So that 40 inch TV is a smart TV. You've got some nice storage cabinets all around your bed. So each of the cabinets on the side of your bed are actually gonna have a shelf in them. So there's a total of six doors, 12, cubbies for storage for uh, clothes around your bed. Um, you see we went this year with a little lighter bedspread, kind of changed our bedding package, really brighten things up in these bedrooms that are a little tighter. You know, you do sacrifice with this garage, but when you walk into it, you're not gonna feel like you're sacrificing anything. So let's hop back to the living room. I'm just gonna hit a couple of the construction items that really set us apart, and uh, we'll be on our way until I see you at the next video. So at Riverstone, construction is what really sets us apart. I mentioned a couple things about the frame and the three inch walls when we were outside. You know, interior wise, we use a ton of hardwoods. So everything you see around your windows, painted hardwoods. If you're in our one of our different colors, like our Juno Gray, that's gonna be a stained hardwood. It's not just your cabinet doors, it's your cabinet face frames, it's your uh, window valances, the trim around your windows, your slide out fascia. Your crown molding's real wood. That The beam that separates your kitchen and your living room is real wood. Even this wall is a real wood product. So a lot of units you're gonna walk in, you're gonna see a lot of paper, you're gonna see a lot of plastics, you're gonna see a lot of foam. We use very little of that at Riverstone. You know, our flooring is gonna be built on the uh, same aluminum tubing that our three inch wall is built out of. It's gonna have a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor. Our roof's gonna be built on a five inch rafter and it's gonna have a half inch plywood decking. So most units in the industry are gonna be 3 8 OSB or 3 8 plywood, and we are a half inch plywood. Um, so we really put a lot into the construction of our units, and you can see that by what you can feel and touch, but also what's behind the walls and behind the ceiling and floor that you can't. All of our underbelly is gonna be fully enclosed. We use plastic panels between the 12 inch I-beam, 50 inch panels, so they are uh, braced from the top, screwed from the bottom. So you can remove a panel if you ever have an issue and you need to access inside of your underbelly. On top of that paneling, we're gonna do a Radiant R38 foil, uh, which is gonna help your insulation. And then we're also gonna do rolled residential insulation on top of that. It's gonna be insulation in the floor as well. Then you're gonna have forced heat from the furnace into your underbelly. You're gonna have 12 volt tank pads on all your tanks. And you are also gonna have all your plumbing done with True Pex plumbing. Again, that three inch wall, where that really comes into play, uh, Versus a two inch wall, you're gonna have an extra inch of insulation because that's where you're gaining it all is in the center of that wall. So with an inch more insulation, there 
are going to be very few products insulated as well as us. The only ones that are are going to be anything with a three inch wall. And as you really do your research, there are very few of those products in this industry. Uh, dual pane windows are also standard for us. Um, with the Legacy package, you're going to get a third AC with the heat pump. You can put an optional heat pump on the bedroom AC as well. Uh, most of the Riverstones you see on lots are going to have three ACs. We use 15K Quiet Cool uh, Penguin 2 Dometic ACs. We put a power management system. It's built into Firefly in all of our units. The power management system is going to allow you to run all three ACs if you are on 50 amp power. If you are using a cheater plug and you are on 30 amp power, it's going to regulate you on 30 amp power. So it's going to keep you from blowing breakers and from underpowering ACs. If you're running all three ACs on campground power, you go to use your microwave, hair dryer, something that's drawing a lot of voltage, you know, it's drawing a lot of wattage, something with a heating element in it. It's going to power off the compressor on that third AC. When you have the ability, when you have the power back, it'll power that compressor back on automatically. Appreciate you taking the time to go through a 42 FSKG with me today. We hope to see you at one of our dealerships or at our factory for a tour. If you're looking for more information on any of our Riverstone products, please go to forestriverinc.com slash Riverstone. That's forestriverinc.com slash Riverstone. Have a great day.